Good morning. Today our goal is to discuss the factors that influence the force acting on a charged particle moving in the magnetic field. So notice I've highlighted a couple of words there. Particle needs to be charged, it needs to be moving, and we're investigating a magnetic field. These two diagrams, the O's and the X's, represent a magnetic field. So to give you an idea, if the magnet is facing you, we use the symbol O to represent the magnetic field. In this case, the North Pole is facing you. If, however, you flip the magnet around so that now the South Pole is facing you and the North Pole is away from you, we use the symbol X to represent this magnetic field. Now before we begin investigating the force acting on a charged particle in a magnetic field, I briefly want to review Newton's first law. An object moving in a straight line at constant speed will remain moving in a straight line at constant speed unless a net external force acts on it. This is only part of Newton's first law, but this is what we'll be exploring today. Objects will remain moving in a straight line at a constant speed unless there's some sort of force acting on it. Remember that for today. Now here's a screenshot of the simulation we'll be using in a few moments. And I want to direct your attention to this one factor here called strength. So today we will be altering the strength of the magnetic field. Magnetic field is measured in a unit of Tesla. In the simulation we'll be using millitesla. And this would be like adding more magnets. So if we want a bigger number than 0.1, we would just add more magnets. We're also going to manipulate the charge of the particle today. If it's a charge of one, that means it has one extra proton compared to an electron. A charge of negative one would mean it has one extra electron compared to a proton. So here's a simulation. We're going to start off with a charge of zero to see what happens. So no charge at all. Here's our particle. It's going to be launched in a moment at 40,000 meters per second. And here's our magnetic field. The mass of the particle is about the mass of 10 protons. And the strength of the magnetic field is 11 millitesla. Let's see what happens. Well, notice nothing happens. Nothing at all happens. Let's turn up the magnetic field strength. Again, nothing happens. So the take home message, if it's a neutral particle, then a magnetic field cannot influence it. Next, let's add a charge. We'll make it a positive charge. So this is an eye on this particle. And let's see what happens. Notice the charge particle no longer travels in a straight line. It's deflecting from a straight line. According to Newton's first law, an object's motion will no longer be in a straight line. It'll change when there's a force. And so this magnetic field produced a force that caused the particle's path to change. Let's see what happens when I increase the charge from a charge of one to a charge of five, meaning there are now five more protons than electrons on this particle. Ah, the deflection gets larger. That must mean that there's a bigger force acting on the particle. Let's go from five to 15 meaning now there are 15 more protons than electrons. And now the deflection is significant. The force has gotten greater. Now let's investigate the effect of the strength of the magnetic field on the deflection. We'll go back to our base case with a charge of one extra proton compared to an electron and 11 millitesla.
And so let's add another magnet. Let's make it 22. And see what happens. Notice again, as we increase the strength of the field, the deflection gets larger. Well, I say go big or go home. Let's add lots of magnets. And the deflection increases even more so. And so the factors that influence the force are the charge of the object. As you saw, as the charge increased, the force got greater. The magnetic field strength, as you saw, as the amount of Teslas increased, the force got larger. There was more deflection. Two factors we did not explore were speed and the sign of the angle. The angle of the particle's path with respect to the magnetic field. We didn't explore those two factors, but here's our equation. Force equals Q, which is a symbol for charge, V, which is a symbol for speed of the particle, B, which is a symbol for magnetic field strength measured in Tesla, and finally the sine of the angle. Now for everything we did today, the angle was always 90 degrees. So the sine of 90 is 1. However, imagine we had magnets arranged like this. And imagine the charged particle was traveling along the same direction as the field strength. Well, in this situation, the angle is zero. These two vectors, the velocity vector and the field vector, well, they're parallel to each other. So the angle is zero. And the sine of zero is zero. So in this situation, there would be no force. Finally, the last thing I want you to see is the relationship between the velocity vector and the force. To see this relationship, I'm going to slow things down for you. So here comes our particle. It's traveling a lot slower compared to before because I really want you to notice the relationship. Notice the angle. The angle is at a 90 degree angle. The velocity vector is at a 90 degree angle with respect to the force vector. Let's see that again. So the moment this particle enters the magnetic field, it'll experience a force. And that force, as you can see, acts at a 90 degree angle. So if you're interested in the consequences of a force acting at a 90 degree angle, please watch the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.